Surveillance video catches a potential catalytic converter thief in Stockton in the act. You can see someone on the ground with a flashlight and what appears to be an electric saw. Stockton police say this is on the rise. They report 43 thefts in November, up from 25 in October, and 17 in September. I met up with Jarrell Fletcher at Mike and Sons in Sacramento to better understand what catalytic converter thieves are up to. Most people will try to go for this one because it's real easy. Simple pipe cutter right here, right here at the back. Four to five minutes, you're gone. Catalytic converters are important because they make car emissions less harmful. But they're made of precious metals, which means they're valuable, over $1,000 each. Fletcher says cars like Toyotas and Hondas are the most likely to be targeted. A lot of Toyotas, the Sequoias, the Forerunners, those are very easy to get to because all they got to do is slide underneath the car with the pipe cutter. Shops like Mike and Sons will install metal cages around converters to deter thieves. We're going to run pretty much the rebar from here to about over here. And it's just going to be a cage. So when they go, to, they can't get the pipe cutter around it, so it takes a little bit longer. And then it's, it's just a hassle. Still, Todd Gladder, who also works in the car industry, says thieves are only half of the equation. Certainly, you're always going to have the thieves running around, but the root of the problem comes from people that give them money for them. He says lawmakers are going to have to find a way to ensure that people buying scrap metal verify it's legal and not stolen. The used one that came off is going to be sold as scrap somewhere. So how do you, you know, legitimize the legitimate scrapped converters from the stolen ones? 